music in my ear on this one. <laughs> Hello, every single person watching this. Uh, today is uh, the 14th of June, 2021. It is the Queen's birthday in uh, British locales such as Australia. Uh, so happy birthday, uh, Queen. She is currently 95 and 54 days today. So happy birthday. Um, I guess the meme is that she's... It's, the Queen's birthday is not the Queen's birthday. It's actually well, not the current Queen's birthday. What is it? Is it, is it? is it Elizabeth's? The first one? Or is it a Victoria? It's one of the queens. It used to be, I remember, it used to be uh, separating between like a queen or a king. It used to actually be queens or the kings. And then uh, at some point they just kind of decided, and eh, just chuck it in June because June's usually got the best weather. Except when you come to Australia or New Zealand and it's like, mm, who knows? But generally we've got much better weather. So, yeah. Uh, this was changed in 1959, seven years after she became the Queen. It literally it so it is the current Queen's birthday, but it's not. Sorry, it's 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 to celebrate the current Queen, but it's not really her birthday. It's a wonder. Why isn't it not just celebrate the Queen Day? Who knows? Uh, anyways, let's talk enough about that one. Instead, jump to. Nintendo. Uh, so today I'm playing uh, Earthbound. Um, this is a game that I had played way back on the channel, way back when. I have forgotten way back when, but... Uh, this game, I remember playing a fair bit. Um, but I don't remember a lot of the specifics or how things, like, stick together. It mostly was just, uh, like, you know, me playing through it, me doing, like, an incredibly, uh, rough stream of it all, really. Like, like, I had played through it on an emulator, I had, like, the, the SNES, the Z-SNES, like, frame rate in the corner. I had, um, like, I used save states and rewinds all the time, and then I remember doing one bit where I accidentally just hit a save state load at some point. And I just had to like continue playing the like another thirty minutes of the game again, and that's on that's on camera. I don't really know. I just left it in. Uh, my knowledge of Earthbound is actually quite limited, despite having played the game already. It's probably because it was thirteen years ago, and I just had a poor understanding of it at the time. Uh, but that also gives me good hope that it's probably an easy game to get into. I don't think it's going to be too hard, but it's. Definitely going to be an interesting one to play. Um, at the time I played this, I don't think I played too many other JRPGs. I think I had played Pokemon, and that was kind of it. Um, so it's interesting coming back at this with like you know at least like half my lifespan of uh, other details and other kinds of games to take influence from. Uh, if there's one thing I do remember about Earthbound is that it's got a wonderfully distinct and like bizarre tone like I always find that there's a certain degree of uh, uh, I guess like Japanese games where it's like some of them are you know I guess like incredibly artsy incredibly you know like not hyper realistic but like inc you know try tries to incorporate a lot of realistic elements in them I guess uh, and then you've got the more surreal ones and I think Earthbound toes the line a bit more on that idea of just kind of like animated surreality um, which is amazingly good fun. And I hope that I can really enjoy playing this game. Uh, so let's get into it. We've got to start the game. I'm going to go on the medium on this one. Just, we'll see how it goes. Um, you can do the window color, which I'm not too sure when, uh, when window coloring was particularly a mainstay, but it's definitely in this game, so that's cool. Um, so you could play the game with the default character names, and I'm 100% going to do that because... 
I'm a bit of a bland person like that, but we'll go with it. Uh, also, you've only got five letters. It's hard to really do anything with it. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, did I even call, like, the characters properly? I should really just hit the don't care and the default stuff, the first name. You can go with, like, some other ones in the don't cares. Like, I believe it comes up with other names. So this guy's name is Jeff, and usually people just stick with the default names. Uh, there's definitely a zany cast of characters on this one. Um, Pooh, of course, yeah. And you gotta name the pet, which is... King. Orkiska. We got a translated uh, name, Orkiska, in there, which I believe is just like, yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, the favorite homemade food. Now this is one that you've legitimately gonna answer. Uh, so... How do I, how do I say Dirty Bird in like, no, no time? Ah, we're just gonna go with it, we'll just go with KFC. Oh, KFC, oh. <laughs> there we go. And what's your favorite thing? Uh... Oh boy. What, what is my favorite thing? Sleep. I sleep very often. So, except do I? I don't know. Wow. Wow. This is going to be a very bland naming, isn't it? Who knows? So, uh, let's see if I remember anything about this game. Hi, I agree with the stream title. I think we're being too being contacted, perhaps even overtaken by aliens in July. Hence the Earthbound connection. I think that has to do with it all, not to spoil the game if you haven't played it. Uh... I will say I played the game. I don't mind spoilers uh, in the chat, but I do agree with um, I do agree with uh, you know, like not let's not let's not get too ahead of of what's shown off in the game. I guess uh, agreeing with the stream title. Uh, if there's one thing, um, I name all my stream titles recently after song names, and I particularly like when I do a, a game. I usually pick like. Uh, a term that's kind of used in the game and then find song titles that match that term so because it's earthbound i'm like okay let's do a bunch of song titles with world in them and this was an aptly fitting name because you get an alien invasion at the beginning of the game uh, <laughs> but i wouldn't look too hard into it because i was gonna you know pick things like a uh, only girl in the world or something like that which i don't know if i if uh, necessarily it's um it's one so, you wake up, you hear a big crash, you can talk to this person, they're like, Hey bro, did the sound wake you up? Were you freaked out? Uh, maybe. Who knows? But you can go in here and open... Who are you talking to? Check. There we go. Crack bat. There you go. So I believe you can equip this crack bat just straight away. And that gives you a bit of a boost. Um, so, let's... Yeah, let's continue on. So, one thing I always found a bit weird about this game is, uh... This perspective, it's very like, ooh, you know, really strong perspective, but things are still on some form of angle. I don't know, very hexagonal, but it's not quite hexagonal, like it's trying to lean away from that. I believe it wasn't, uh, L's the pizza button, that's what it is. So you can play the entire game. This is, this is one thing I love about the game, is that you can hit L and it'll like do like a quick contextual action based on what you, what you got. She tells her, just like, get out of your jammies. Now you can dress up and go outside. Uh, but yeah, you can hit L to contextually use things instead of hitting A to go into a menu. Uh, no, no, it's all good. Nah, it's all good. I don't know, uh, what, um, what you mean by overtaking by aliens in July. That's implying that the aliens haven't already come here. I don't want to return home, but the road is closed. People are taking this meteorite situation too seriously. Can I actually speed up the text, or... I've locked in. I've locked into to that speed. Alright, well, we're gonna have a fun time on this one. And that police are infamous for closing roads. If something is going on, we are going for the world record. Oh, wow. Don't panic. It's just a... What? Meteorite that... Ooh, fell. I just wanna... What? Go home. So, yeah, I... Like, this is a very bizarre game I find just lots of lots of weird stuff zany characters don't you know what time it is get your butt home pronto uh probably a joy of a translated title if anything like this game like is saved by such a good translation at the time 
Because that, that's something is that, like, there's, like, Dragon Quest games at the time, and they just... You know, like, I, I think it was Dragon Quest Seven, I think, was the first one that came out and had, like, puns as names. Maybe not even Seven. maybe it was, um, Eight. It was like, the original translations of, like, the Dragon Quest were just, like, they were straight dry fantasy games. You know, they've got the stories in there. But then you play, like, like, if you play any of the remakes on the, the DS, it's, like, it's full of, like, so many great puns. And just, like, really, like, character, you know, building just, like, you know, doesn't take itself too seriously. Um, and it's a remarkably different tone to what the, the original creator intends. But he loves that, like, everything is now a pun. In the English versions. It was a real mess for a while. I was fine because I always eat garlic and work out to help my body stronger. However, the weaker citizens probably fainted. I also want to tell you, whoops, I almost told you about my, uh, by the way, Ness, did you check my billboard? I wrote the message myself. That's my real job. You know, I'm a billboard guy. Why don't you check out my work? This is Lear X, Aggregate's Hats. Okay, sure thing. So. Yeah, it's just, there's a lot of stuff happening. That meteorite looks different than usual. It's strange and marvelous, as well as mysterious. Ooh. Hey, Ness, don't be rubbernecking. You're getting in the cops. Oops, I mean, officer's way. <laughs> you can go home now. Tomorrow I, Pokey, will tell you more about the strange meteorite. I'm fine here, but you're bugging the officers. It's just a lot of, like, strange stuff in this game, so... I like it. Um, I've got a few topics for this week. Um, nothing actually, hold on, it's going to be dominated by post E3 stuff. So I think uh, anyone who um, <laughs> drive me nuts, are you two friends? No. You're not friends, but aren't you neighbors? Come on, help me out here. Yeah, okay. Um, so this is a, uh, yeah, so I, I remember last week I spoke a fair bit about like some preemptive E3 related talks um as I'm gonna call it because a lot of the things I'm gonna actually I I've only watched one thing that's not E3 I haven't watched the PC Gamer show and I ha well I guess that is E3 I haven't watched uh, Jeff Keighley's thing uh, can you imagine what would happen if Ness just kept sleeping in bed probably July <laughs> uh definitely uh yeah there's a lot of like just you know coincidence in, in RPG stories I want to be the first to see it, alright? I'm going to try to be the first to get there. Cool. Hi there. This mother character's just like... It's not necessary to talk about it. It's late. Scoot off to bed now. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. Later that night. So, yeah. I, I, um, I did watch the Indie Live Expo. All six hours. <laughs> um... Love of the knocking's kind of part of the music on that one. Wonderfully stereo sound as well. That's always good. Oh, actually, we're going back upstairs because we've got to we've got to talk to you. Someone's knocking at the door. What an annoying knock. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Jeez. I don't think Ness would have kept sleeping at this rate. Hi there. My land, who could be knocking at the door at this time of night? Would you answer it? You want to do it yourself? Okay. I've got fleas sucking me dry, so I'm just going to lie still for now. I, I love how this dog is going. Haven't heard much on E3 this year. Uh, there's definitely, I think, my general sentiment so far, and now, so people watching back on this, this is after, so I'm recording this on Monday, but this is like Monday, like way early America time. So none of the stuff that has happened on Monday in California has happened. Uh, when I took a picky to the place with the meteorite landing, oh, good evening, ma'am. You're looking lovely as usual. Mm. So anyway, as I was saying, the police that were guarding the meteorite landing left suddenly to deal with the sharks. You know, the sharks. They're the local ruffians. And they were really going wild. Suddenly, I noticed that Picky was gone. I blame the cops. It certainly wasn't my fault at all. When my dad gets back, I know I'm gonna get it. You're my bestest friend. Won't you help me find Picky? Nah. If you refuse me, I'll say something that'll cut you like a knife. Is it just gonna keep going? Okay, okay. I won't say anything to help you. Will you please come with me? No. If you ref Okay. He's gonna push on it. Um, so yeah, so I I watched the, the Indie Gala thing, I watched the Bethesda Microsoft, uh, I watched the 
Squeenix one, and the Gearbox thing, and the Ubisoft thing. So I've got, and the Devolver, and Devolver. So I've got a lot of things to, to go through. Let me say goodbye to your mum. Uh, a dog is still a dog. Cool. I know that the dog is unreliable, but you should take King along. The cracked bat in Tracy's room could help out at a time like this. No matter what anyone says, you're courageous, strong boy. You're my very own natural born fighter. You'll go far. Remember to go for it. But I think you should change out of your jammies before you leave. Alright, so yeah, so I watched those six things. Um, I've got some notes on all of them, uh, which I will mention, and because uh, I have no choice, let's go. Hey, little dog. Hey, cute dog. Uh, and uh, yeah, let me let me see if I can get my thoughts. So I'll, I'll I'll go through them in the order that I did watch them. Actually, they've been in chronological order so far, but there's definitely some more stuff um, associated uh, with them. So, uh, so the Indie Live Expo, that was basically a six-hour conference uh, or, or a live stream in Japan that then had English translators on it. Um, what's with the phone dad as well? Like, I, I don't really understand why, but sure. So this is the save. You can, you can save here. I think I was using save states uh, on my old emulator uh, way back when, so let's play the game legit. Let's properly save when we do it. Slam! Beep. Cool. Um, so let me let me see if I can go through my notes. So the, the biggest thing about the Indie Live Expo was that uh, it was six hours and had a lot of discussion on... Ah, had a lot of discussion, or well, a lot of, lot of, like, how do I say? There were six times in the show where they would do a rapid fire wave, and the wave had, like, between 40 to 50 games with, like, 10 to 15 seconds each, and, uh, each of these, um, each of these waves, like, yeah, you just rapid fire went through games, uh, the games were very, um, range in quality. They started off with something like Chivalry 2. Chivalry is a rather well-known game uh, which uh, was basically, yeah, medieval combat. You're doing medieval smash. Um, and uh, it's good fun. It's, it's nice and harmless good fun. Uh, this is the sequel. It came out two or three weeks ago on Epic Games if no one noticed. So uh, I guess good to mention that it's there but uh it's coming out very soon to a japanese audience so there is that um the game features 64 player servers which is cool uh things like that then there's games like um uh, there was one game in the list and i'm gonna look it up uh called battle sound uh if you see the the video it's at three hours 53 25 look at that i'm sorry to whoever made battle sound but oh my goodness like rather undercooked it looks like you just followed a tutorial and came up with this random array of buttons and stick figure things like it does it barely looks like it's you know something that's i don't know it's it's hard to explain so that's basically the wide ends of it a lot of it was also rather japanese in audience so you definitely had things like gacha games a lot of shoot 'em ups a lot of um uh, Hand of Faith style games. There was, there was just, there was a lot of that, uh, which I thought was kind of interesting. Um, I'll, I'll bring my discussion back to Earthbound in a bit. I kind of regret having the tech speed on slow, though. Is there a way to change the tech speed? I know I'm going to get into another fight. Is there actually a way to change the tech speed? Maybe it's on the top. Apparently some people say the fast speed is too fast. Oh, apparently you can do it from the main menu. Okay, maybe I'll do that for, for next time. <laughs> it is rather slow given that I'm glancing through it, but... Maybe it's good for an audience just to be able to like read it as it's going along. Uh, so my health isn't necessarily going up, but I do have bread rolls, so I've got that at least if I do really need it. Um... I'll just say it's good for experience, even though that I know that later in the game- Oh my gosh. Jeez. 
these. Maybe I should have made the, the thing. Oh, King is too good. There you go, back up. Um, so what were the other ones? Uh, let me let me run through. Uh, they did show various games in highlight, uh, as in in a, in a fair bit of detail, a couple of minutes each. Um, definitely, I, I guess for the presentation, the translators were doing a live kind of run of it, um, and uh, one of them. Uh, who's his name? What's his name? Atsugiri, Atsugiri Jason. Wonderfully hilarious guy, so i definitely say watch it just for him. Um, he just, just lots of good jokes. I liked how, um, they showed off, uh, the Outer Wilds at some point, and they talked about how the game has a 22 minute loop, and you, you figure things out, and then the game loops after 22 minutes, and you, you know, find out new things on your future runs, and then they immediately went on to Loop Hero, and he was like, 22 minutes, and then there were a couple of other games that they mentioned loops, and he'd just shout 22 minutes just during that. Um, great stuff. Um, uh, also during the, the thing they had um, a musical performance, uh, two Japanese guys, one on a stringed instrument, very traditional stringed instrument, but I don't know the name of it, so I apologize for that, and another one just on his uh, electron drums, and he was definitely going at it. I was too busy to investigate, but I heard a child's voice on the hilltop. I'm a busy man, but when I do a job, I do it well. I'm a man's man. Sure. Cool. Um... So here we are at the top of the mountain. A woof. If I knew this was going to be such a scary place, I wouldn't have come along. I'm out of here. <laughs> He's gone. He's gone. Caution. There are still lots of fires burning here and there. It's hot. Cool. Yeah. Um. So what else? Uh, yeah, I, th I think legitimately like only about 15% of the games are really worthwhile watching, but, you know, sure. Uh, I don't know why my Twitch stats uh, thingy is not particularly loading on me. Hmm, okay. Uh, oh, we'll just wing it. Uh, yeah. Parents must be worried sick. Okay, sure. So now we've got yet another character. We have Picky with us. Ness, do you hear a buzzing? That sounds like a bee flying around. No. Oh, come on. You must hear it. That's a wonderful, like, a lot of the sound effects are remarkably good given it's the SNES. Like, really well done. I like it. A B I am. Not. <laughs> I'm from 10 years in the future. I love how, like, it's, it's such a near future as well. And this game takes place in, what is it, 2000 NX. So it could have happened in 2019, all that stuff. Oh. However. You must listen. Where I am from, there is a well-known legend that has been handed down from ancient times. It says, when the chosen boy reaches the point, he will find the light. The passing of time will shatter the nightmare rock and will reveal the path of light. You see, it is my opinion that you are that boy, Ness. This is, I believe. Gygus's monstrous plan must have been set in motion somewhere on Earth. If you start to confront the enemy immediately, you may have time to counter the evil intentions of Gygus. Three things are of utmost importance. Wisdom, courage, and friendship. The legends from the ancient times tell of three boys and a girl who defeat Gygus. I will tell you more later. Go now, and do not be anxious about the future. You have much work to do, Ness. Did you listen to what I told you? No. I hate to go over it again, but I guess I'll start off <laughs> with the sunrise. Oh my gosh, I made the mistake. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Alright, so... Uh, what are some other games they showed off? So, the other ones that they showed off, they showed off a game called Idol Manager. It's a business sim... Uh, slash visual novel rather weeb in presentation but I like the idea it reminds me something of like if Fire Emblem was like a business sim instead of a tactics RPG so imagine that um, seems okay uh, Fault Milestone 2 Side Below it's the second half of the second half of or the second half of the second game and um, a visual novel franchise, but apparently that last one was hit B again. Oh boy, we will actually be here until sunrise. Wow. Um, looks okay. I don't know a thing about the last one, but sure. We got it. Uh, there's a game called 
Lost Epic, I, I'm sorry. Gins, is this worse than, than me flipping your plane? The worst part is that I'm hitting, like, I'm hitting, uh, SNES B, because the A is on, on the right. And it's just like, no, no, the plane's worse. The plane was worse. Alright. Alright. Alright, I'm hitting A, I'm hitting A. Here we go, here we go. Did you lose on my cell, dude? Yes. Thank you. Fine. There you go. Um... So there's a game called Lost Epic. It's an early, it's an early access already. Uh, it's a side-scroller hack and slash. Uh, it's got dodge rolling. Again, looks a bit weeb. Looks a bit mobile here and there. Um, it's early access, so I'd... I mean, I'd wait on it. It's okay, though. Um, then, uh, so this is the highlight. This is the standout game and the reason why you watch this thing. There's a game called Power World. This is, uh, basically the trailer. Looks like it's like a Pokemon style, you know, game. Like, it's just, oh, we're making our own Pokemon. But then, the main character is controlled as a third person shooter. And with, like, just regular, like, assault rifle or shotgun or rocket launcher. And then the Pokemon, like, you know, sometimes you use the Pokemon as a shit. I shouldn't be using the word Pokemon. Rush. It's been a long time, but boy, you've been successful at foiling Master Gekis' chance. But, 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 you must now surrender. You are no longer a hero, but just a huge insect. How strong you are. Oh my gosh. So this is uh, how they kind of introduce uh, a bit of a spooky element of the game where it's like, oh my gosh, we got the bee, the, the dude. But then he makes a big, the buzz buzz makes a brilliant shield that protects you so much. And that gives you the opportunity to deal one damage at a time. Except Pokey doesn't even help. His brother helps, but not him. And then buzz buzz is just like, oh, I'm just going to attack and do like 36 damage. I love these backgrounds as well. It's it's a it's just this like bizarre look. It loops in like strange ways as well. Like this is not even like seamless, but it goes. So is that uh so and then yeah like continuing on with Power World. Like so not only is it this like oh you know like you're using the monsters in weird ways. It's like this thing's like sweatshops. Like your as in like weapon sweatshops. I nearly forgot about the stream due to the public holiday. Oh, dude, yeah, I, like, today's a bit of out of schedule with me because it's, like, no work today. So, yeah, it's definitely throwing me off, but should be all good. Um, so, yeah, so the, the not Pokemon are making, like, weapons on a construction line, or on a, on a assembly line. And then they're, like, there's another shot where they're spinning, like, these, these rotors, like, just doing, like, manual labor. You're getting, like, cows to, like, mow, uh, the, the farm. Uh, and then, like... They get poached, they get hunted. It's crazy. And it's just it's all within a minute and a half trailer. It just happens. And then like, I don't know, it looks, it's so bizarre. Um, the one thing that kind of hurts me looking at it is that one, it's obviously gonna be early access, but also on top of that, the developers have already been making a game that's an early access game. This is just more Breath of the Wild style. Um, like that kind of game. Um, humans will definitely make trouble for you, and it ends up being that the humans are mostly the villains in this game. Okay. And then you come back home. And you talk to the mum, and the mums are like, oh, you're hungry already? Why don't you have some KFC? Pokey. You don't like KFC, do you? P Pokey, come on. Come on, Pokey. Too bad. Psh, sure. Oh, I guess I guess I'm still hungry. <laughs> I don't know what that sound even is. Sure, I I remembered I gotta give them to that or drop them off at their house. Um. So that's a that's definitely like the highlight of that stream. Um. What else? They showed off a game called Transy Ruby. It looks like uh, it's basically like a cave story style game. I saw it looks neat. Pokey's mom was just like, Ugh. Where in Sam Hill have you boys been? I'll have to think of a suitable punishment. 
talk to the dad. I'm really sorry, my kids trouble you so much, both of you are really going to get it now. Whoop, oh, there they go. Oof. Oof. By the way, I'll be happy if you left sometime soon. I'm tired of your family living next door. We've loaned your father a lot of money. It may be $100,000 or more. Whoa. Whoa. Nintendo translates this, man. This is the bizarre bit. So, here's the thing. This game never... Ugh. Also, that's the, the that's the the not B that is saving you, and he just gets killed straight up. Ugh, I was much weaker than I thought, so you must now begin your adventure. See you. Oh, I just remembered. Listen to my final words. To defeat Gygus, your own power must unite with the Earth's. The Earth will then channel your power and multiply it. There are eight points that you must visit. Make these places your own. Each of these locations is your sanctuary. One of them is near one it. It is called Giant Step. Go there first. Do you understand? Alright. I'm gonna die now. You're a very intelligent young man and oh the pain. Everything is getting dark. Ooh, oh. Before I pass on, I want to give you something. It is the sound stone. You can record the melodies from the eight your sanctuary locations into the stone. It is an awesome item. By the way, I'm almost gone. But did you want to hear the story one more time? No. Good. It's already dawn outside, but it doesn't matter to me. I'm fading fast. Ugh. So, okay. And the sun has risen. And the game truly begins to some extent. Uh, here's a question. Do I have my health at full? I do. Hmm. I guess you could... Oh. 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 Okay. Uh, next one. We got Garage Bad Dream Adventure. Now, this is one. So, this is... Garage, apparently, was a 1999 uh, point-and-click adventure game on PC. Um... And because it came out in 1999, it looks, it's got that strange, surreal, like, 3D but pre-rendered kind of visual style. You know, the same style as, like, the original Fallout. A um, uh, lot of, oh, what's another one of my favorite ones? I was going to say Bad Mojo. I remember playing that one on stream. I like Harvester more, but they're, they're both, they've got live action stuff. So, I don't know. Uh, so let's continue on. Down here. Um, point is, is that that's being remade, but it's a mobile game, and so it's got some rough font choices, I think, for some of the menus. Um, you know how mobile games usually just... They add elements that just miss the theme entirely. It's... I don't know. Um, there was a game called OU. They didn't show anything. They showed some art. So... Okay. I hate how often your weapons miss in this game. It's rather irritating, actually. Um, there's... Uh, Wizardry, The Five Ordeals, it's a 2006 uh, edition of Wizardry that has like a dungeon editor, uh, they're doing a re-release effectively for modern Windows computers, so that's nice. Uh, there's one game called III Revolving Wonderland, I believe it's an RPG, but it's got like a 3D platforming outside, like, thing. Uh, a library is a nice place to learn stuff. I got a lot of info about Earthbound. Hmm. Okay, sure. Might as well go in. Hi there. Hi. Kids can borrow only maps at this library. You want to borrow one? Sure. Here's a map. Well, that isn't the only thing on the map. All the info is there except for the info that isn't there. Pressing the X button allows you to view the map at any time. How convenient. You know the X button. Look at it at the top. <laughs> sure. So I can click on that and see a map. Which is kind of cool. Because I got a lot of people talking about a, a monster. I wonder if he's stronger than my wife. <laughs> what? Ooh. A man, a few words. It's useless talking to him now. There's a lot of rooms in here as well. Like, you can just, like, really get to know a lot of stuff about this game. Uh, so, yeah, that I, I, I game, um, it looks a little... 
a little weird. The trailer is like this awfully like blue scale, um, and I guess any JRPG just it's so hard to understand them based on the trailers because they will never talk about the mechanics of the game. They'll always talk about the story. And the story is a tough one. Uh, all I can remember is that rhythm battle game. Um, uh, even I don't remember the rhythm battle game. Uh, so the next one, okay, this was a this was an odd one. So this one's called My Child New Beginnings. Uh, literally, they showed it off with like this younger girl. This is like um, I believe that it's it's made in Norway. The game. Um, but it's like, it's dialogue from a younger girl, just, just, you know, picture, text, and then it just ends. And you're like, what's going on with that? I looked it up, and it's a sequel to a game called My Child Lebensborn, and that game came out, like, three weeks ago, two weeks ago. So, they announced a sequel for a game a week after <laughs> the last one came out, and I feel like, just, just talk about the last one. Okay, so there's there's just some mechanics on the on the test and stuff. Um, so let's see. Uh, top of my head. Um, yeah. So it looks like it's just a, you know one of those like indie story games. Sure. Ooh, I am not your enemy. I am simply your average run in the mill mole. Would you like some hints on fighting enemies? Sure. Listen carefully. My hint involves which way you are facing when a battle with an enemy occurs. If you allow enemies to approach you from your back or side, they may get a surprise opening attack. When they approach you this way, your TV screen, no, no, I mean, the world in front of you will show a red swell for a second. On the other hand, if you approach an enemy from the back or side, you may get a surprise opening attack. In that case, your TV, oops, again, the world in front of you shows a green swell. The point is, try to fight so you always have the advantage. Cool. Like this bird. There he is, there he goes. So, let's beat him up. Um, yeah, it looks okay, it's just... You know, indie story game, definitely, if you're not into that, which... I like my mechanic games, so, there's that. Uh, last one that they showed off that was considered a premiere was called The Good Life. And it's an interesting premiere because this is a, uh, a crowdfunded game. Um, and it's been crowdfunded for a while now, but here it is, it's getting a trailer. Uh, looks interesting, you're basically, it's a daily life RPG game where you're this protagonist who's in debt and you're trying to get money and then you encounter strange things as you go along to the point that you end up in a murder mystery kind of game. Uh, and also you turn into either a cat or a dog at night. Looks, looks more interesting than a lot of other games in that list, but sure, we'll, we'll take it. Uh, there are a few other ones that I thought were interesting. Papatrua? Uh, pa Papatrua? Uh, it's... The snake that only moves when you move. Uh, do you have control over which one you become? I'm not too sure. The... They didn't describe in the in the stream, but I noticed on the crowdfunding page it was like you can turn into a cat or a dog. Perhaps you can change into either at a later point in the game. So I think that's what they were going with. Um, I'm not too sure what exactly would change based on which one you were as well. Um, but I'll take oh oh the butterfly yeah touch the butterfly and then you just full heal. Or you get all your magic back, one of the two. Um, so, that definitely looked okay. Uh, yeah, Pepatura, this is a point-and-click adventure game uh, from the Czech Republic. And it was... Or was this Poland? Actually, that was the Poland one. That was the Poland one. Uh, there we go, if we go up here. I know, right? You just gotta know that this is up here. I'll give you my Mr. Baseball cap. I know you've wanted it for a long time. It's the best cap for someone really brave like you. That's always a good, 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 you know, move. I had a dream about you, and you were traveling with a cute girl. If the dream comes true, say hi to her for me. After all, I'm single. <laughs> the RL, right there. You've grown a lot since I last saw you. You're beginning to look like a man. You're so cool. I, I think I really like you. Well, you know what I mean. It's the 90s. Or the 2000s and the 90s. <laughs> Fun different time. Uh, so I believe that was a hat, so I can put it on my others, and that really helps my defense, so that's cool. This is just a hobo right here. Don't watch out. <laughs> yeah, sure. Just kidding. Pretty much out is my job. Cool. Uh... Let's 
So I oh, I'm about to get hit by a car. Um, uh, no problem here. Uh, we got burger shops. There's a lot of just like, you know, this is an RPG. You're expecting like some. <laughs> it, it's just bizarre that like this is where you heal. The burger shop. You want the burger. But also, like, I got no money. Seems like I'm always here. I hope you don't mind. So always that. So, uh, what's another... So, Pepperture looks cool. The presentation is apparently really, really good. Uh, the game also came out, like, last month. So, I'm not, I'm not going off of nothing. Uh, there's a lot of cheaper looking games that they showed off. Um, there are a lot of games that you 100% would know about. The They had a section on the Czech Republic where they had uh, such wonderful indie games that you may not have heard of, such as Armor 2, Factorio, uh, Machinarium, um, like, it's just like, ah, oh, okay, sure. Um, and then they showed off some Machinarium, and that game came out in 2009. I remember playing it back when it did not have an enhanced version, and said it was running Flash. Polar is special. Ah, uh, ah, uh, somehow, okay. Does this mayor have his face on the town board? Wildflower of the Eagle Land. Sure. Truck stores to the east. East the opposite of west. Cool. So I guess I'll check the drugstore as well. Uh, so the drugstore sells your regular like kinds of items, and also I believe that's where you sell. So actually, these are these are equipments, and I don't need any of them because I got them for free. Oh, you hurt my feelings. But is that two shops? That is two shops. Oh, cold remedy. I really need that this very second. Also, I believe that is a uh, ATM. So I believe I've got like, yeah, I've got some more money in the bank, but I can donate my current money. I don't know what the cost of having money left over is. I'm Rafini the dog. I'm being possessed by the spirit of the game designer. Do you see the window showing HP and PP at the bottom of the screen? When you go to a store that has equipable items, this window will either flash, look normal, or become black. If you are allowed to equip an item and it is stronger than your current item, the window will flash. If the item's power is equal to or less than your current equipped item, the window looks normal. If you can't equip an item, the window is black. Rough. I thought you'd like to know. Now it's time to become a regular dog again. And this is a save. And also you gotta pay a dollar to, to save. So, good on him. I know how I don't cash to support you. We should call your mum. She's probably got an ulcer from <laughs> worrying about you. Okay, sure. Uh, what else? What else? So they showed off the Outer Wilds. They showed off Loop Hero. They showed off uh, X4 Foundations, which I thought was interesting. Uh, there's a lot of games that are just like, you know, what's the scale of them? I feel like X4 is, uh, it's indie, I guess, but a bit more money than some of these other games. Um, there's The Beginner's Guide. I legitimately knew of this game. I... As in knew of it by name, and knew of it by who made it, but not really any details about it. I saw it, and then I was like, well this has been running my Steam library for five years. Let's go for it. Uh, I'll tell you the story about that later. Uh, there's a game called Elfin Force, that's an itch.io game. Uh, yeah, so there, there were a few games that they showed off. Um, the I think the biggest one that they showed off that was in the, like the the list of like random titles, and I'm, I'm scrolling through trying to get like a lot of these. Uh, was called Buddha Go. Like, it, it was a racing game where you raced as Buddhas. It was amazing. I Like, that was it. That was the game. But like, what is this concept? That's bizarre as. Amazingly bizarre. I loved it. So there was that. I'm trying to see if I, there was another one. There was another game called Pumpkin Jack. In, in this string, you, it was there for 15 seconds. But it was such, like, it looked like a rather flashy 3D platformer. And, like, one straight out of, like, the mid-2000s, like the PS2 era. Like, that kind of, you know, decent, particle spammy, but generally good look. Just, just there for 15 seconds. I gotta look up more of that. Sure. The rumor has it that the shark's boss is hanging out near the giant step. Where are, they, where are we? Well, there's a hospital, there's the food, and there's Tucson. Uh, I forgot whether... So there's a combat dog? Bow wow. Don't you think you'll be needing a weapon? Did you know the drugstore sells things you can use? I knew about it. Cool. Go to the hotel. 
Ah, here you go. So you see this, and you're like, hmm. So these are the gangs. This is the gang guy. And he hits, he hits rather decently. In fact, me with a helmet is probably helping quite a fair bit, but... Jeez. So... Uh, so one gimmick about the game that is probably not element... Uh, element? Relevant right at the moment. Ooh. Apart from me being really lucky. Uh, but being relevant right now is that uh, the... Um, hamburger. Oh, baby. Triple. Uh, is that when you take damage, your health ticks down. It's like a little ticker counter. And uh, later on, uh, you actually can buy time by being a bit quick. with uh, As in, you can do actions while your health is ticking down. Uh, so this is a healing ability, isn't it? Yeah, there you go. So now I can heal. Hi there. You want to meet Frank? You don't want Frank to beat you up, do you? Oh. Alright. So, oh, I'm trying to figure out whether there are any other games based on the names. Uh, oh, there was another one they showed off, again, for 10 seconds, called Everhood. Now, I know of this one um, ahead of time because it uses Moonscraper under the hood, which is the same chart reading format that is used for Clone Hero. Um, Everhood looks amazing. It's like rhythm game Undertale instead of Shmup Undertale. It's... Like, the concept looks really, really good fun, and I actually would like to give it a go later. Um, so, i definitely give that one a look, and yeah, that showed up in this list. Again, a lot of these games came out already. In fact, most of this list, like, the games have been out, they maybe been out for multiple years. Do you want to start a fight or what? Sure, okay. Um, so, there's definitely, yeah, there's a lot of interesting stuff in there. And then, yeah, there was just a lot of... There were a lot of shoot 'em ups, I swear. There were probably about like 30 or 40 of them. Uh, there was a number of Chinese games that I didn't know how to translate or anything. It just just existed. Uh, there was and then there was Outer Wilds. Like yeah, there was there was some games like that. Uh, if there's one thing I liked about that conference, it was very earnest and just kind of driven by a handful of sponsor segments. So like obviously, um, or like or, uh, things like you know like a. I guess ironically, like a publisher, but also just like, you know, here's a company who's made a game dev tool. And, and that's it. And that's that's all they do. Well, let's see ya. There's a can of fruit juice inside. Whoa, that's 100% what you do. Uh, so, I'm pretty sure these guys are in the game arcade. So, that's where you want to be a bit careful. And I'm just gonna take the hit instead of being smart. Uh... It is from a store? Yeah, I guess. Also, uh, just... I'm being beaten up by a guy in a hula hoop. And I'm dealing a lot of damage. Jeez, 17? Jeez. I'm just sorry, it's close to expiring. Maybe. That's like Cole's clearance. I don't know why, my local Coles, there's a lot of like the, the discount clearance things, and a lot of the time it's because the like the product is like rather damaged. Like I I'll just see like the milk, and the milk is like bursting like out of the card. Not not coming out, but you know what I mean. It's just, like rather disfigured card. Um Can you heal at the hospital? Let's see. Probably the inn is more where you go. Hey, you ever suffer from some type of sickness or condition that you couldn't get cured at a hospital? For example, being diamond eyes, where your head gets as hard as a diamond. Or mushroom eyes, where you have a mushroom on your head. If you're ever stuck with these types of embarrassing conditions, we have the magic healing shrine and are here to ease your pain. We're ready and waiting. To <laughs> buy some new bones, yeah, exactly. Hi there. Though you may not believe it, I'm a healer. If you have some illness that cannot be treated at the hospital, it's my job to cure you. Do you need some help? Yeah, sure. What do you want me to do? Probably none of that. I'm not busy right now. Shall I explain about the hospital system? Sure. If a good friend of yours becomes unconscious... Ah, so this is the reviving. Okay, and then that person underneath us. Besides being unconscious, whenever you don't feel so well, come and talk to a doctor. Everything I just told you applies to hospitals all over the world. Cool. So if I like, come up to you and go... Yeah, well, I'm actually pretty busy. <laughs> okay, sure. Is there an actual doctor in here? Hi there, actual doctor. I can examine each one of you for 25... Ooh! Ooh! 
this game is brutally, brutally realistic in ways that you don't want it to be. Uh, I don't know if I trust my health. Also, I hate how it's like I hit A and it start brings up your... Oh, not start, sorry. You're just going to wait on the screen to bring up your stats. I don't know why. Uh, I could heal. This costs 5, five PP. Let's get into that point. I guess, yeah, there is a, there's a hotel. Hotel, motel, holiday inn. But I've also got no money. Just because I put it, I put it in the, the thing and I thought I'd maybe get some more money elsewhere. That's something I guess interesting. Usually in RPG, it's like you, you, uh, like you get, um, you know, money by fighting some basic enemies and usually the inn is not like out of the way. I guess there's an ATM in there, so at least I got you that. 35 bucks, like... I guess you can call dad. It's your dad. I deposited 120 bucks in your bank account. Take away what you spent. You should now have 172 dollars in the bank. Well, XP to the next level. That's 12. Anyway, what do you need from me? Let's save that. I've created a record of your adventure to this point. Good night. Sleep tight. Nah. Ness, you like to work hard. Just like your mother. But I don't think it's good to work too hard. See ya. Okay. Uh... like room with just an ATM as well definitely getting the, the cash by sitting tight time to rob the ATM there you go please take your cash please please just, just get it uh so anyways we're 51 minutes into the stream and I've spoken about one of the conferences so let's try and quick fast the other five in no time fortunately two of them are just jokes two of them are legitimately just like there's nothing associated with it. Uh, so, first of all, uh, the Gearbox one. This is the first one. Uh, the biggest thing... Use the ATM to hack the ATM. Okay, I only brought two! Um, so... Love this wonderful room you get, though. It's great. And, uh, yeah, if you rest up, your PP comes up to full. So, there is that. Um... So yeah, so Gearbox. Uh, the biggest thing I could say about Gearbox is that please don't show off a movie without showing off the movie. So, like a solid, like out of the bang on 30 minutes presentation, uh, the wild boys are hanging out in the town and the cops have really been cracking down on everyone. I'm considering moving to Tucson, a town in the south. Okay, sure. Uh, they have, they, they're making a Borderlands film, but they don't have the ability to show you the Borderlands film. Oh, these guys are spawned again. Oh, two of them. Now that's the fun part when you have two of them just like ruin your day. Um, so yeah, so they, they couldn't show one of the actors. They had to show you all the actors in, um, in hiding. It's crazy. Like they couldn't show you anything. The only thing they could show you legitimately was that Kevin Hart was an actor. And so they spoke to Kevin Hart and said, Kevin Hart and Jack Black are in this film. And it's like, wow, this is, this is just half of the way to Jumanji. <laughs> sure, okay. But without showing what the film is or really anything about it or really anything, all I know is that people who are working on the film say the film is great and gives you great insight or, you know, it's a fun experience. Like, sure, but it's hard for me to go. The other thing as well is that three times in the presentation... <laughs> exactly! Exactly! It's... <laughs> Dude, I, if The Rock shows up... Um... <laughs> I know, right? I'm watching this conference... I'm watching these conferences going like, wow. <laughs> Alright. Um... Oh, as... As well, I, I feel like someone... Hold on. Well, my boy Mad told me like a great... A great line at some point. I think I'll get to it. I think I'll get to it. It's probably somewhere in here. I'll, I wrote all this stuff down as notes. I wanted to do like a video on this, but I feel like I can't really like put them all in a great format. So I'm just going to like go as a stream and then we'll see how we go. We'll see whether we're turning into like a legit focus video is probably the best. Um, so three times in the, in the Gearbox conference, they did a small tease where they like uh, said a fact about Homeworld. And then had a developer tell you that Homeworld 3, like, it's, it's 
great, it's finally coming. And, uh, that was it. Three times. We don't know a date. It's just, they're making a Homeworld 3. Homeworld is a, an RTS game, I believe, and I don't believe... I don't know if Gearbox... I don't believe Gearbox originally had it, but... They've got it now, so they've, they've done the remasters and stuff, so there's that. Um... And then they showed off a trailer for, uh... Yeah, I... I actually would like to play more, uh, RTS games. I tried playing, um... Forgot the one. Forgot the one. Can't, can't remember. Uh, but it had a recent update. Uh, it's open source, like, entirely the game as well. So, like, you can technically own it on Steam, but... I just love how, like, this guy just, just goes... Sure, okay. Hey, kid. Do you want to become a member? Nah. Don't be such a snob. Ooh. Yeah, there's some there's some weird RTS stories in there. Um, yeah, I forgot that one RTS I played, but I I liked it because it was like you did a mission and then like the map would just kind of reveal more of itself. So you'd end up having these like miniature missions in like this larger campaign that you're actually working on, and it's like it's done rather well. I I like it. So to tell you the truth, I like drinking tea and eating fresh vegetables, but that doesn't fit my super cool image. I guess I just have to accept this about myself. <laughs> Okay. One of these guys is sitting for a fight. Spit, spit, spit. Saliva, spit, spit. Do you want some gum? Get your own twit. When you buy an item that should be equipped, do you bother to actually equip it? Eh, I gave my hint to my own enemy. I'm such a rockin' dude. I obviously <laughs> have total confidence in my own abilities. So are you ready to get it on, Spank? Ooh, okay. Uh... So yeah, so Tiny Teamies One Lance, they showed a trailer. They didn't really show much about it. I... Th is this a full title? I believe that they're turning the DLC of Borderlands 2, which is awkwardly because I played Borderlands 2 and then I got through DLC 1, DLC 2, DLC 3. I got so bored, I didn't play DLC 4, which is the one that this is based on. And I, I've definitely heard, uh, not Handsome Jack. This is, uh, Tiny Tina's. So that would have been, uh... Oh, I forgot the name of the DLC. It's Tiny Tina's, like, just land and whatever. But the game's called Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. I don't know a thing about the game otherwise than it's just a medieval setting. But it's still, it's within the context of them doing a D&D campaign. So, it could be some fun stuff there, but it's more Borderlands. Sure. I love these arcade machines of just, uh, you know, Donkey Kong in the back. I'm Frank. You are? Come on, can't you at least say your name? Woo! Frank attacked! So I believe this music's been used in, uh, various things. Uh, I've got hypnosis, but I don't know if that's gonna help. I feel like I'd rather just bash. And he's just come out with a knife! Oh my gosh, what? Bro. So this is the thing, that's gonna kill me. And it did kill me. Ness, looks like you got your head handed to you. How about giving it another shot? Okay, sure. Sure. Good luck. <laughs> Stream up, there you go. At least this game's got like, you know, it's got a recovery mechanic. There's a lot of RPGs at the time that were just like, no hope. Although, I don't know if that... Oh, that did return back to my save. Okay. So, um, theoretically, I did lose progress. Because my character is now probably level 5 or something. So, that just means more opportunity to talk about wonderful games. How do I fight this? There you go. Uh. Whoa, did he, he didn't get there in time. He didn't get there. <laughs> um, so, then after more Homeworld 3, they showed off a game called Tribes of Midgard. This looks like a kind of top-down Diablo-style hack-and-slash game in a, uh... Not medieval, it's more viking -y time. Uh, no PP, I know. I, I'll, I'll do the, the, um... <laughs> uh, looks okay. It's got classes, I guess it's that. Uh, I don't really have too much to say about it. It kind of looks like just another top-down hack and slashy game. Uh, I am one of few people who just cannot, for the life of me, understand getting into um, Diablo. Like, I've just tried. I just... It's not not quite my cup of tea. There's a lot of games that are like it on... The, wow, that cookie did nothing. Did, 
do any of these do anything? Like the bread roll does the bread roll does a lot. Okay, sure. Melge Rising. Melge Rising is great. Yes. Here's a chance for a surprise opening attack. I actually oh the worst part is I'm gonna rip on a platinum game uh, later as well. Um, like it'll be the last game in this list. Don't make rise pretty fun. Definitely, yeah. But yeah, this 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 weird top down style style game uh, didn't didn't really click with me on that one. Uh, then uh, this is the other thing with it. The, wow, there's a lot of just like lingering enemies here. Jeez. Um, so the bit that kind of got me. Uh, so I might as well just talk about the last game. So they, they showed Godfall again. Godfall has come out. It's already out. It's not out for PS4 yet. So I I actually didn't realize that Godfall was not um, <laughs> exactly. These are all thugs as well. Like, please don't even do anything here. Inside the present, there was a hamburger. I'm gonna run off because I can't really heal, can I? And I'm gonna sneeze. Oh boy. <sighs> Wonderful. <laughs> Batman buddy kills, oh exactly. Uh, so how much money do I have? Zero dollary dues. Let's get the money and let's go for it. Uh, but yeah, so for Godfall they were showing that it's coming out for the PS4 and there's also a new expansion which is basically, as they said, a... <laughs> like an end game loop. And then we're all memeing, oh 22 minute loop. You know, whole stream. Uh, my controller is wonderfully not... Wow. Okay, real talk. RetroArch seems to just... Okay, I'm actually using... I'm gonna use the Bluetooth on this, because I swear. This happened during... I, I feel like I dropped my controller during the, uh, the Bugs Life stream. And, uh... I mean, yeah, so I technically did lose a little bit of progress just then. Wonderful. Okay, to the intermission. Oh, man, don't double up the music. Sorry, my bad. Uh, wonderful. Okay, okay, I think we're good. I think we're good, but... Another, another run. Uh, for reference, when I died, I would have gone back to... the thing. So that was one point. Man, this is incredibly unprofessional. And my controller is, again, unsynced. Why? Come on, come on, controller. I, I need it, you know, I need to actually get me a new cable at some point. I could do this wireless, but... Alright, come on, come on, controller. Look in. Look in, controller. Let's get back into this. I want to get back into the stream. Wonderfully duct tape production here. I don't know why Retroarch just, like, panics when the controller changes as well. Get that looked at. I thought it was okay with it plugging in and out. Alright, back in. Oh, the music's there, but where's the game? I see it. There it is. The game's there. Uh, let's change the text speed. Alright, and let's continue. Uh, so I'm back here again, and I still gotta fight more- That's an interesting amount of health, actually. That's not the same amount of health that I had before. Next bug fix is for- I would love to fix a bug on RetroArch. The enemies didn't spawn on me, so I guess- okay, sure. Uh, so the Godfall thing, where they talked about uh, an endgame loop, I'm kinda like, mm, like- I, I don't particularly play these games that have, like, end game loops, because it's just like... What's the... What's the incentive, really? That I just keep playing the same thing over and over to get better loot? Sure, but... Like, I, I that's not the that's not the worst part, like, because it would be... The game has to... If the game's fun, that's fine. I don't mind, like, an end game loop. I don't mind, you know, incentivizing the end of the game. But I feel like there's a lot of games that do that, and then, like... They, they just, they're designed around being the Skinner box at the end of the game. And so then it's just kind of like, you know, FOMO. Like when you're playing the game and it's like, oh, your friends are doing your end game grinding loop and you're not doing it. And you're not, you're, you're not getting these, these uh, exclusive loots. And it's like, there's actually a revolution to get to keep the augmentations that allow you to access new areas. Oh, exactly. Like, oh boy, there's another guy. Am I screwed? I'm actually going to run away from that one. 
This is this is how it ends. This is how it ends. This is how it ends. Just in one go. Oh, I did it. I'm out. I'm out. Okay. What a mean encounter. I don't know why they they just called on more guys. Cool. Cool. Oh, please. Jeez. I'm going after the shark guy. And he's called for more already. We are witnessing the exact same thing that I just encountered. Oh my gosh. Wow. The game doesn't want me to, to succeed. Or it really wants me to waste my money because I'm not doing any of these fights. So I think... I, don't, I forgot what the butterfly gives you. glancing through all my menus uh but other than that that was the entire gearbox conference it was three games plus homeworld 3 being teased and them talking about the borderlands movie but not being able to show the borderlands movie in any way and that was it for half an hour it was a strange conference probably one of the worst i say one of the worst i've seen but everyone always says that every year but like it doesn't make me want to buy anything i like, that should be the most important part of anything here. If I don't want to buy it, if I don't want to buy anything in your conference, did you succeed? You can say maybe some brand recognition and the fact that, oh, okay, but at a later point, you know, there's a movie and, you know, we made, made sure people might care about a movie. Like, sure, but I don't know. It, it doesn't seem like a successful conference to me if I legitimately, like, don't want to buy anything yet. There's one thing on just being confused. What are these guys respawn, by the way? Oh, can I get one of them? Can I get this guy? Ah. Oh. So. I don't think I can fight him fast enough as well. That's the worst part. I could definitely fight that guy fast enough, but. And they, they're missing a bit. But then he shreds fiercely, and I can't really control that. And he fell down. And I just fought the other guy. Whoops. Oh. No, I'm dead. This game is awfully brutal at the start, isn't it? It's awfully brutal. It just, it goes in. It goes ham. Alright, so let's check the status. I'm still level 5. Okay. I don't particularly know what kind of checkpoint I'm returning back to, but sure, I'm probably losing money. I'll look it up between streams. What's the the kicker of being killed? Or even better, I'll look- Hey! Hey! Wrong fight, man. You're not allowed in. When you die. Not having your PP is a bit of a killer, isn't it? Here we go. Consequences of dying Earthbound. Uh, you lose half the money in your wallet. Your bank is untouched. And most of your team is incapacitated. When we get to that. Uh, requiring either an expensive hospital visit. Or a trek to one of the assorted free spots that can be revived. And you're also port uh, transported to the last phone you saved at. Uh, sometimes it's just better to reset. Uh, changes to your character and events do remain though. Level ups, items acquired and used. Event progress, stat changes all carry over. This is usually to your benefit, but if you use more valuable items, that's kind of loss and resetting uh, maybe much less of a setback. Okay. Alright, so if anything, I basically didn't lose anything by doing that. And in fact, I could probably throw myself at this just over and over again while I have no money in my inventory. So, you beat up my buddy. Sure. Uh, so yeah, Gearbox, not particularly great. Uh, let's jump into Ubisoft, because I've got 50 minutes and I've still got four people left. Uh, so the first thing that they showed off was Rainbow Six Extraction. This is a spin-off of Rainbow Six Siege. I remember, I'm, I'm fairly certain that they showed off, uh, the idea of this being a virus outbreak. Now, obviously, probably don't want to do that today, so it's now aliens, uh, but if Still, it's it's some kind of outbreak of some variety, and uh, you're sent in as a strike force team of some variety uh, to fight PVE, to fight monsters, to fight aliens, and there's different alien types, and you're doing some Rainbow Six stealthy things, and my inventory is already full, by the way. Wonderful. It's because the enemies drop, like, decent amounts of 
items, of healing items, so... Hold on, what is this healing? Come back after you finish Earthbound. I'm like, oh, okay. Sure. Uh... Looks okay. I... I've fallen off playing Rainbow Six Siege, like, rather quickly, because I was just like, oh, it's another multiplayer shooter. Not my cup of tea, but I appreciate taking the mechanics and then turning it into another thing and also still kind of maintaining that hero shooter element that Rainbow Six Siege has gone to. Wow! Wow! Wow, that's some text! <laughs> cool, cool, sure. Um, sure. That, that is an R uh moment right there. That is an R uh moment. Sure. Uh, the next game they showed off was Rocksmith Plus. This is a subscription service phone game. Uh, where Rocksmith was a game where you bought a USB lead cable for your electric guitar and you'd plug it in and you could play songs and it would detect the pitches and you're playing them okay and it would score you based on them and that's great. And you know the truth? I can't handle the truth, man. Frank has a powerful weapon. So here's the thing, is that I have no money, or really anything, so I feel like I could just throw myself at Frank and have another go at it. Except this time I gotta use items. I love this, like, just like go down to the thing and go like, HELP! Like, help me on that hamburger when he didn't recover about 50 HP. Maybe I should just... Oh, do, this, do people spam that on the Kai streams as well? Alright, how to not get killed by Frank. Well, he didn't- he didn't brandish a knife that time. He just- mm, mm, Just said something nasty. There you go, so there's a the knife. Uh, I guess I'm gonna stick with more hamburgers. Hamburger, hamburger, cheeseburger, one whopper. Oh, there's the crit. There's a lot of crits in this game, are there? Like, you can, you can get a lot of crits. Oh! Don't ask what I did last time. But, sure, I'll take it. Fail proof, proof Frank can't be beaten. Puff, puff, puff. And this is Frankie Stein Mark II. Oh. Well, I thought I was safe. Uh, hamburger, cheeseburger, whopper. Ooh. Uh, so, yeah, so Rocksmith Plus, uh, subscription service on the phone, so the means of detecting what you're playing... Ooh, that's a lot of health. Uh, the means of detecting what you're playing are interesting. Um, I'm gonna die. Am I? Because I'm, I'm starting to get into desperate items. Unless, unless that was actually really good. Maybe I should just commit hard, because all of these food items... I can't look at... <laughs> Oh boy, that, that was just... Yeah, yeah. Alright. Ness, it looks like you still died. Good luck, Ness. Sure. So I return back here, but I have... I'm still level 5. And, oh, I, I, I just don't think I leveled up. <laughs> okay. Uh... Yeah, how about I... I... No, actually, I'll, I'll continue fighting some people, because I, I I feel like I'm just low level. That's a bit mean. That is a bit mean that you're effectively throwing yourself at this boss for a bit, just to, you know, be okay. But, yeah, sure. You know, we'll take it. Uh, yeah, I'm curious how well the audio detection is going to work, but subscription service, I don't mind it as long as it's cheap, which is called Two Guys. Jesus. Okay. Uh, next game, Riders Republic. Uh, this is 100% steep, but not necessarily snow. But there was snowboarding. So, it's kind of steep. I'm just gonna cop it to, to these guys instead. Or I could, I could miss. Come on, come on, nail him. Nail him. Nail him. Nail him. I'm on one health. I'm on one health. I'm on one health. Edge of your seat. There you go. Too good. Too good. 
now I'm level 6, so now I've got some stats. I'm 100% going to the inn on this one. Uh, sorry, the Hotel Motel Holiday Inn. Um, oh, okay, sure. Uh, welcome to the automatic teller machine. Yeah. I, don't, I really want to know how the money works, because I seem to be getting money, but it's all in, in there. I guess because you can only spend the money on hand, but they need to give you money somehow per battle. I think that's probably how it works. Okay. Uh, Riders Republic looks like okay. Give it a peek. I got a bit burnt out on Steep when I, it was given away for free. So. But yeah, it should be okay. Uh, they should have some Rainbow Six Siege. All I know that they are adding is another character yet again. Uh, they're adding crossplay between the Stadia, Luna, and PC. I don't know what the Luna is, but they're adding that on June 30, and then all platforms, so consoles, on uh, next year. So that's neat. I'm surprised how many games don't have crossplay yet. I guess it just kind of seems like something where you know, since Fortnite accidentally did it, it just seems to be all opened up. Uh, so do I have to fight Frankie Frank again, or is Frankie Frank like done? It's you again. Do you really think you can beat Frankie's? Sure. Oh, you have a compliment. Go. Well, at least you can fight the boss again. Uh, so, I don't have... Yeah, I don't have anything to really, like, beat this guy up magic-wise, but sure. He at least gives you, like, a free turn sometimes before he throws, like, a strong attack. I'm always full of steam. <laughs> And we're back to healing again. Throw a punch. There he goes. Uh, what else did they show off? So they showed off some quick fire things. Uh, they showed off Trackmania briefly. Uh, I'm really sad about the new Trackmania. Just, I know it's a free to play like model, but it's like, oh, the pricing is just so harsh. It's, it's, it's just not not approachable given how cheap Trackmania has been on like on other platforms already. Like, I just don't want to pay for the same stadium environment again and again. It's just, just not today. Uh, Brawlhalla, it's got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Sure. Uh, the Crew 2 has an update with things. I didn't really know what those things were. This is my first defeat. Failproof Frank is now just Failure Frank. I know you've been asking around, so I'll tell you about Giant Step. It seems to be quite a powerful spot. Some kind of special power store that allows certain people to perform wondrous feats. Over a monster sucked up all the energy at that spot. It's difficult to get up to Giant Step. That's all I know. Let's just collect more information on your own. The entrance of the pod leading to Giant Step is behind the touring entertainer's shack. Burkle, the mayor of one has a key to the shack. Ness, you've become stronger than I. Your adventure is just beginning. <laughs> This guy runs a gang. He's just... Okay. Uh, also, I was, I was just thinking as well, like, does he... Yeah. Yeah, he gives you a rest. Yeah. Good on him. Uh... Yeah. Okay, sure. Uh... What else? So... Watch Dogs Legion, it has DLC with the guy from the first game, and that's all I know really out of that, but sure. Uh, then Just Sats 2022. So this, they're, they're really not releasing it on the Wii this time. It's exclusively just the next-gen console, well, I guess PS4 and stuff, but... Uh, it's Just Dance. I got nothing more to say. I got nothing more to say about Just Dance. Sure. Uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla has a DLC. Far Cry 6. Okay, real talk. I feel like some people are ripping into Far Cry 6 because they think the graphics are bad, and slightly. That like Far Cry's visuals have been like kind of stylized in ways, and when you're used to like some of the hyper realistic stuff that's happening in other places, having something a little more you know like saturating color, uh, the the expressions are rather exaggerated. Like actually, um, looks a little odd. I think it's fine for me. I don't know, it works for me. Uh, and if anything, I actually like the facial... Like, just like, you know, it as an acting expression. It's actually kind of good fun to watch. So, I don't mind it. I also really like just Far Cry being good fun on... Oh, sorry, what? Sorry, it's a squad. Hey, you've done your homework around brush your teeth before going to bed. Have you been wetting your... What? I'm really in a foul mood. Why? Because the mayor doesn't like me. I think I'll just kick back for a while. It may just take me a couple of hours to sign this paper. Wow! 
every single person who translated this game is just like, you know, fed up with like everyday work, you know. We don't have any weapons for part-time employees at this time. I work for City Hall, but somehow I'm there, Perkle bugs me. Let's keep this between you and me. Hey, tell you also a giant hand at the giant step. Oh, sorry. I did, I, I... <laughs> So I'm moving on to stop all the bad influences. I call it the fresh breeze movement. Okay, sure. Uh, yeah, it looks okay. Um, I briefly glanced past Assassin's Creed as well. Uh, just DLC. They've got a historic mode DLC where it's like, I don't think there's any like challenge to it, but it tells you things that happen in history as you walk around, so sure. Far Cry 6 looks okay. Uh, they're selling a season pass before the games come out. Good job, Ubisoft. Just okay. Uh, two things left in there. Uh, Mario and Rabbit Sparks of Hope. They showed off brief bits of gameplay. It looks a little bit more action-y than the last one, but it still has that idea of cover base. So I guess instead of, like, acting on a grid... Nice. Uh, instead of acting on a grid, it's, uh, radius-based. Which I think is fine. Uh, it's probably a magic system in it. Uh... I, I, I kind of like the idea of more Mario and Rabbids. I heard the first one was really good. I'm looking forward to, to getting it. Uh, and then, last one. Avatar. Blue Alien Avatar. Frontiers of Pandora. The game looks pretty on a technical level, but it's all, like, cutscene-y stuff. If someone's great at you, have a key. However, if you encounter a dangerous situation, please don't ask me to take any responsibility. I'll be able to avoid any responsibility, right? No. I'm a very important man in these parts. Do you think I'm important? No. Look, I'm the big cheese around here. And a brat like you should realize when someone's trying to be nice. And then he doesn't give you the key. Nice. So, good on him. Uh, other than that, Ubisoft, like, it's fair, it's exactly as you expect at Ubisoft, um, it, I miss it being done as, like, a full live show, um, instead it is just all the pre-recorded, and all of these are just pre-recorded whatevers, none of them are done live, uh, except for the, the indie one, the indie, uh, live expo, so, there was that, um, but yeah, it, yeah, Ubisoft was alright. It showed off a, a few games. Kind of expected a number of them. Uh, like, we, we always expect Just Dance. I feel like Assassin's Creed generally you know, always happens. Rainbow Six has to happen because that is Ubisoft's darling game now. All of a sudden, it's, it's rather bizarre how that's turned out the way it is, but sure. Um, oh, time to get hit by a truck. Ah, <laughs> oh, please, please. A lot of stuff around this town so uh next conference uh we've got devolver now before devolver's conference they uh had showed off a game i've got the game oh oh they've got it on their website it's a it was a city builder game that was like reverse city building so you're actually building the environment re like restoring the environment out of like a more torn earth which is great i actually i really liked that um that trailer and it looks really exciting. I forgot what the game is called, so you're gonna have to take my word that it exists. Um, is it up here? Oh yeah, it's up here. Not at the top of the mountain. Don't come in. Sure. Yeah, so it's back up here. Okay, sure. So now the door is locked. The door is locked. But if I go to thing and then I go goods and then I go to the key to the shack and I use that, then it will open. Cool. Uh. Wow, wonderful. So, that looks alright. Uh, the very first thing they showed off before they went into their wonderful memes um, was Shadow Warrior 3. It looks really Doom Eternal. Like, it's got a grappling hook, it's got the whole enemies start flashing blue and orange when you kill them and then spew out things. So it really just looks like Doom Eternal, but it's Shadow Warrior and I th hope it'll be fine. I, I hear Shadow Warrior 2 actually alienated some players a bit. Just had, like, too much stuff going on. Um... Ugh, that's the damage. Uh, like it's got like a weapon -y system? I don't know. Sure. Uh, then Devolver basically went in with a conference, which I'll, I'll glance through and then I'll hit the games. Uh, Trek to Yomi, a samurai side-scroller game with a really nice grayscale art style. I liked it. It's coming out next year, sure. Phantom Abyss, it's like a first-person parkour. Uh, I said like Trackmania, but I think 
uh, think like the Mario Maker, uh, group, like the, like the mission, sorry, yeah, yeah like the, the weekly challenge in Mario Maker where, uh, it shows you all your, like, all the failed attempts that are happening around you. Um, neat idea, sure. Wizard with a gun. Uh, it's apparently a top-down and kind of looks like Don't Starve to me, but as a uncultured guy who's never played Don't Starve, I'm not 100% sure uh, if it is. Uh, but sure, there's a game called Death's Door. This is a Bastion top-down style game where you play as a pigeon with an umbrella, and it's really cool looking. It looks actually rather fast-paced, so sure, we'll go with it. Uh, that one's coming out. Uh, oh, Phantom Abyss is coming out, like, next week. So, there is that. Uh, Death's Door is coming out in July. And then there's... Okay, so this is this is my pick of of the day. There's a game called Inscription, with a Y, uh, for Inscription. This is a game by the Pony Island guy, and it's like you're playing a board game in this cabin. And it's you're, like, you know, shadows around you. Uh... And uh, this is like creepy face telling you, you know, like, oh, play the game, that kind of stuff. And then you seem to like collect things and be able to do puzzles that are in the cabin, only to be, be then forced back into the cabin. Uh, a lot of enemies down there, aren't there? Those rats are also making making mean pie of me. I should have probably gone for the first door, shouldn't I? Ah, oh, they do. They have a lot of these strong hits. Jeez. Okay, sure. Uh. But yeah, no, it, it looks really engaging. The art style as well, like, it, it reminds me of, like, this kind of low-res and specifically resolution PlayStation art style with, like, that dithering that the lighting ha uh, has, but, like, still within this, like, creepy indie... Not quite sprite base, but you know what I... You know what I'm kind of hinting at? It's rather bizarre, and I, I'd recommend giving it a look. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, there's a mobile game that they're making called Devolver Tumble Time. It's, I guess, their meme game of the of the the year, but sure, we'll go with it. And then last one is Demon Throttle. I'm not too sure if this game already exists, but it's getting a physical only Switch release from what they said, which is I don't know. Not not everyone can download or can can run to a store and buy games. So I'm curious. I'm getting double credit here. Uh, can I heal before he hits me? Okay, we're good. We're safe. Uh, but uh, the Demon Troll game reminds it's like it's a wonderfully like NTSC filtered 8 bit style game and rather faithfully and not just like oh, you know, they're using sprites, except they're not really using sprites. Um, there we go. Here's the, the attack slugs, the worst things in this game because it's just like they come at you with like crazy numbers. Uh, so, yeah, uh, and, and gameplay reminds me of a Jackal, or a Contra Super C, like the top-down, like, levels from that. Um, looks kind of neat, co-op, probably, so, looks, looks good. Devolver's games are really solid, like, really solid. It's amazing how, like, good they all look. Oh, and I can't one-hit him. Ugh. And also, I'm gonna get hypnosis at some point, so this is gonna be a bit iffy. Have I made the mistake of attacking? Can I go... Uh... Yes, I... Can go... Sure. <laughs> We're safe. Uh, so yeah, but otherwise, Devolver's Conference is full of wonderful, great jokes. Uh, they had, uh, their theme of the, the day was making fun of subscription services, uh, which I think is, is wonderfully topical. So they basically poke fun at the fact that you're buying for things after you're paying for a service, or maybe you're not paying for a service and you still got to buy things in different ways. And, uh, 
Just wonderfully great and over the top on that, and surprisingly tame. They didn't blow anyone up this time, uh, but they did have the Blarg monster there, and uh, the humor of the Nina Struthers character is just perpetually, you know, joyous with me. Oh, this is a mechanic as well. Sometimes you're too good, and the game just just kills the enemy for you. Just it knows I'm gonna kill him in one hit, so it goes with it. Uh, I got PSI Sleep. Not to be confused with PSI... Uh... So, a deadly PSI attack. Uh, this is a damage attack. Hits each enemy for 50 damage. That's actually kind of neat. Okay, I have to note that Sleep is not Hypnosis. So I can be the kind of guy who uses this against enemies if I had more PP. Nice. Oh, I hate it. Uh, but yeah, no, the Volvus was good fun. And I'd actually give, like, I would say, give the conference a watch. Give the the, 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 the showcase, I think, is probably the, the key term. Give it a watch. It's definitely good fun. Uh, then we've got Microsoft Bethesda. Uh, Microsoft Bethesda was the, probably the bulkiest one, and probably the one that's most... Microsoft has been rather consistent with their E3s, so... Uh, so let's run through the list of things that they showed off. Uh, oh yeah, and they bought, uh, Bethesda, like, months ago. And so now they get to do a bunch of Bethesda stuff. And it definitely filled an hour... 20? 30? It definitely filled an hour 30, but I think they had a lot of stuff to show. So good on them for that. Um. Oh, and the, the ant. So the ants are going to ruin your day. You want to get rid of the ant. Yeah, the ants are just... Ooh, the ants are mean. Smash! So I'm in this fun boat where i got to heal, but I've only got one PP. See if I've got some good stuff. I got the cookie. Let's get let's get rid of these like cheap items. Just the cookie. So I believe the skip sandwich that actually um whoa, makes you move fast. Okay, that's an interesting one. All right, let's wing it. Let's wing it. Let's get out of here. Oh, I'm not gonna escape this. Oh. Woo! That's a runaway. That's a runaway. The worst part is that I know I can, like, reach a mild bit of safety. But not today. <laughs> Getting really, like, clobbered in this game. Jeez, so... Alright, let's go with Microsoft. So first thing, Todd Howard. He just walks on stage, he's telling you lies, telling you sweet little lies, but... Mm, I love the way he talks. At the very least, I don't particularly run out and buy games based on hype. So, like, me me hearing all of that, you know, Far Cry, not Far Cry, all that Fallout uh, 4 stuff, all that uh, Fallout 76 stuff. Um, it's been a while since I heard, like, Elder Scrolls stuff, but I remember people making fun of, like, oh, characters have, like, routines and stuff, and then, like, they look silly as heck. Um, so I get, I, I look a bit past that, but I, he seems like such an enthusiastic guy, and I love that he can talk about things that are technical in a rather approachable way. So I find he's great. That being said, he basically just kind of opened up. Uh, he talked about Starfield, or rather they showed Starfield. They basically gave a trailer. It's space. Sure. Okay. Um... And they showed off a trailer for Stalker 2. This was a actually rather neat five minute trailer of in-game looking visuals uh, involving uh, dialogue between characters, building some 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 uh, world building, bit of bit of gunplay, bit of like ooh aliens, ooh other bad guys, ooh various environments. Uh, I've not played any of the other Stalkers, but it makes me think of what I thought Stalker was, without really showing me what I didn't think Stalker was, so it's a tough one on me. I don't know. Annihilating all the worms, except sometimes they'll fight me. 
I feel like I need the experience if I can fight them this quick and they give me 27 experience. Because, like, how many, how much experience do I need until the next level? Oh, yeah. I mean, I've got 965 total experience, so 27 doesn't sound too bad. But then I just had two of them fight me, so. Ugh. Okay. Uh, then they had Back for Blood. This is the Not Left for Dead 3, but it's by the same guys who made Left for Dead, so it's basically that. Uh, there was a bomb. Ooh. Uh, they showed off more of this later, uh, showing off the 4v4 mode that uh, was also in Left 4 Dead. But, you know, if they can vary out with the, the monster types, the zombie types, sure, looks okay. Uh, then they got a game called Contraband. Uh, it's a game by Avalanche, and I don't know a thing about it because they showed a two-minute teaser that does nothing. I'm running through all of these really quick. Uh, they showed off uh, a DLC expansion for Sea of Thieves. This is Sea of Thieves, A Pirate's Life, which ties in with... Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, the Disney franchise. Let's annihilate, annihilate them worms. Oh, that's a lot of attack. A lot of damage. Unless it... No, no. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Nice. Uh, so, looks okay. I don't know. I haven't played Sea of Thieves, so I can't really judge, but... Looks okay, I guess. Oh, that's, that's about it for me. Um, am I going to have to do the same thing on these guys? I think I do. Uh, then they showed off, uh, this was on my, my list of things that they definitely mentioned, and that is, uh, showing off a wonderful franchise now coming to the Xbox Game Pass. In this case, this was Yakuza. I remember seeing the announcement for this, uh, but I don't believe they've shown it off at an E3 or any other big conference, so now they've got that. I don't believe Yakuza Like a Dragon, the newest one, was on the pass, so now it's coming to the pass as well. So they've got that, uh... These worms are not lighting up. I am now winging the fact that I know that I can get some more PP up the top. Um, so there's that. Then I show up Battlefield 2042 for three minutes. Uh, this trailer was actually really good. I liked it. Just a lot of like gameplay elements thrown at you, even if like I don't think the game is going to play like that necessarily, but a lot of the elements, a lot of like just the things you could. Blendo dies again to more slugs. I'm trying to skip the text, but oh boy, oh boy. Uh, let's run away, run away, run away. I'm not gonna be able to get away. Wow. Oh, what was me? How does this keep happening? Come on, come on. Alright, so anyway, let's keep going on. Uh, they've got a game called 12 Minutes. They show it, it, it looks like it's a story, just, it's a story game. One of those, like, low, low budget, just story games. Um, but it's not low budget because there's some actually big name actors that they spoke about at the beginning, but not much about the game to really know. Uh, other than there's a time loop, except it's 12 minutes this time. So not, not, not a... 22 minutes, it's 12 minutes. Uh, Psychonauts 2, uh, two minute trailer, lots of ideas. Uh, again, this is the same boat of, I don't know what separates this from the first game based on the trailer. It looks like more Psychonauts. And this is from someone who's played most of Psychonauts 1, and I'm not getting away from this alive. I have tried running over and over again, and I'm gone again. Wow. Is this how the whole run's gonna be? It's just gonna be me, like, absolutely, like, copying it on... On the things here, jeez. I might as well just keep, keep, you know, heal myself up. I'm, I'm leveling up. I'm at least making some uh, asterisk progress, but I didn't realize like how much of a like brutal slog the beginning of the game is because like all I can do is attack. I barely have enough magic to cast magic. The one magic spell I've got hits everyone, and uh, they spawn six enemies on me at a time. Sure. Sure. Okay. Uh, so is that, uh, then they talked about some Beth Bethesda games coming to the Game Pass. I did not note which ones are coming to the Game Pass that haven't been there already, except maybe Doom Eternal, I guess is that. So if you haven't played Doom Eternal and you've got the Xbox Game Pass, there you go, you've got that. Uh, then they showed off a Fallout 76, uh, expansion that you may or may not have to pay for it, I'm not too sure. They showed off a uh, Elder Scrolls Online expansion, 
that you may or may not have to pay for. Again, I don't know. Uh, then they showed off a game called Party Animals. It looks like Gang Beasts, but you're playing as fuzzy animals and you have weapons that you can use. But it really does look like Gang Beasts. Uh, they showed off Hades. It's already out, but I guess it's coming out on the Xbox. Diablo 2 Resurrected, uh, the remaking of Diablo 2. Looks okay, hopefully it's not as bad as, or not not as controversial internally as the StarCraft remaster was. Because some people complain that, like, they now can't play the original StarCraft and they can't do, like, various things, I think, like, server, uh, or some, like, custom map shenanigans, maybe? Um, I gotta look more into it, I swear. And, and as someone who doesn't, hasn't played Diablo, that we grow on me like that one. Uh, Plague Tale, Requiem. Plague Tale was a game that looked really, really pretty at, uh, two years back when it came out? Maybe three years. Uh, this looks still pretty. More of that. How did it, how did that hit my back? I'm gonna melee these slugs, I don't, I don't care. Uh, but sure. Then they shot off more Far Cry 6. Uh, this time, this was not uh, cutscene uh, footage, but gameplay footage uh, with the wacky, like, this is fun kind of gameplay, isn't it? Music, you know, like, like that kind of stuff. <laughs> I'm running through this list really quick. Um, so, looked okay. Oh, and you had to kill a chicken, friend. So you got that. Looks okay, but again, looks like more Far Cry, sure. Slime Rancher 2, uh, again, like, I don't, I, it didn't quite pop out to me what made it the second, uh, Slime Rancher. I thought it was, uh, an expansion at first, but it's, it's a new game and, uh, it looks alright, but it's coming out next year, so we'll wait until that one. Uh, then there's an actual snowboarding game called Shredders, um, and, uh, that actual snowboard, how did... Again, how do you hit my back? Who knows? And I got smashed. Nice. Uh, actual snowboarding game called Shredders. Uh, they mentioned uh, the Shredageddon at the beginning, which I thought was hilarious. Uh, snowboarding, it's it's exclusive. Walked inside the rat. Oh, is the inside of the rat unsafe? I'll never be able. There's a lot of rats this time. No, not this many rats before. Uh, next game on the list, Atomic Heart. Uh, this was, oh, this was the weird, like, I think it was, like, Russian puppet weird thing. There was a lot of bizarre stuff in this. Um, I think it was this one. Yeah. Uh, but it was... It looked awfully unfinished. There was a lot of motion blur in bits that were just, like, trying to, like, hide some nastier details that were just, like, in the, the frame. It looked kind of odd. There was, there was a, you know, detail where it needed to be, but not detail where it always could have been. Um, why not kill the ant? There you go, take that ant. Jeez. These ants are gonna beat me up real hard, aren't they? Uh, not sleep, I'll just continue on there. Oh, he heals as well? Ugh. Ugh. Uh, looks okay, maybe give it a look later. Um, oh, so, okay, okay. So, this, this game, this next one was called Replaced. It has this wonderful, like, pixel art style that reminded me of, do you remember in, like, it was 2015 was The Last Night. Uh, like, that game. Was it 2015 or was it 2017? It's a long while back, that game. Um, and, uh, yeah, the art style reminds me of it. This looks like a side-scrolly... Uh, sorty kind of game. I guess we'll go with that. Um, I'm not going to be able to take out these guys any other way, am I? And I'm going to run out of, of magic otherwise. I'm going to run away. I don't care. Stop, please. Stop. Because I know I'm going to have to fight all the slugs. Or just two of them? 
Or just two of them? There's only two of them this time. I guess the enemy spawns are... They're all randomized. I don't know, man. So, I guess we'll, we'll cop the life up and then just try and get it. Try and get into it. Uh... But yeah, no. Replace. That's the game. Uh, then I never realized this game called, uh, Grounded. It's apparently a game where, honey, I shrunk the kids except they're playing deathmatch in the backyard. That seems to be the, the gist of the game. They're adding in a bunch of stuff, such as spiders, except you can turn the spiders into circles if you're afraid of spiders. Um, so, sure. Yeah. So, uh, for reference, the butterfly gives you more pee, pee And the nice thing is that you can just spawn uh, more survive together. Okay, alright. Oh, I guess because, yeah, they're fighting, and, uh, like, bugs. So, yeah, maybe it's a PvE kind of deal. Um, uh, Earthbound's, Earthbound's pretty good. I'm definitely coughing it so hard. I'm dying a lot in places I, well, I guess at the beginning of the game, like... I feel like I shouldn't be dying this hard, but, um, I'll get there eventually. I seem to be eventually beating up this ant, so that's okay. Uh, what else I show? Uh, Among Us now has 50 play 15 player lobbies. <laughs> I'm glad Among Us is now, now, you know, it's just... No, no, no particular meme in this one, but sure, we'll go for it. Um, Ayudin Chronicle 100 Heroes. This showed off in the indie thing as well, and I missed out because it only appeared for 10 seconds and I didn't know what it was. It's, I believe it's a, a Suicoden, like, ex-developer making a kind of looking like Suicoden game, but I'm not too sure. That's an RPG that I really would like to play. Apparently it's got a lot of characters and a lot of character in those characters. So, that's actually pretty neat. Uh, they're also making another one called Eduden Chronicle Rising, but it's a tease, I don't know. They're making two two games. Uh, next game, The Ascent. It's a top-down twin-stick uh, game with co-op. I just saw that, that was it. Age of Empires 4. Again, more Age of Empires. I guess they're doing, you know, it's been a while, so they can... Uh, I realize that this is the boss, so let's... Let's preemptively life up. Um, healing was like status healing, I think. So, is that? Uh, then they showed off the Outer Worlds 2 as like a big tease, and it seemed the trailer seemed a little bit like off meta. Like, I know the Outer Worlds doesn't take itself too seriously, but I don't know how not seriously it was supposed to be taken. Like, it's actually like really far. I, was that ant there before? That ant is going to ruin my day as well. Titanic ant. Ant. Ooh, wait, there's two ants. There's two ants. Uh, do I commit hard? I'm going to commit hard. Noise. I did put sleep as my favorite thing. <laughs> I think that confused me a bit. <laughs> I keep forgetting. I always forget. I played this game. I played this game and I, I remembered this from ahead of time. Your ability is named after your favorite thing. So it's not called PK Sleep because it puts enemies to sleep. It's called PK Sleep because it's my favorite thing. <laughs> sleep. Maybe I should put something real weird in there. This Titanic Ant is ruining my day. Oh. Oh, that's gonna help. It's gonna save me though. Oh no. Alright. Well, keep dying. I really I'm 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 gonna finish this after I beat this boss. I'm gonna really go for this boss, because I gotta get in there. I gotta really do it. I'm level 10, I'm getting my way up there, but oh boy! Oh boy, the boss is really killing me on that one. At least I'm getting money, but it's just yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I put, uh, oh, my favorite food. Sorry, I missed that one. Uh, my put for my favorite food, uh, KFC. So, uh, so, uh, Porky really hates, uh, KFC. Apparently. I know. 
probably a Korean barbecue kind of car, you know. Uh, what are the other games? So, Microsoft Flight Sim. Looks like it's just got an update uh, with fighter jets and other military vehicles, which looks neat. Sure, we'll go for it. Uh, Forza Horizon 5, it 100%. I've commented that Forza Horizon 3 looks exactly like Forza Horizon 4, which looks exactly like Forza Horizon 5. But the aesthetic of the world looks pretty. You can get chickens in this game, so it's not too far-fetched. That is true. The snake. You gotta watch out for the snake. Um, yeah, Forza Horizon 5, eh, looks about the same. It's got the Battle Royale mode that was added into 4, just there. Um... It takes place in Mexico now, which I was thinking they were probably going for Spain, but sure, Mexico. Uh, sorry, as in I was guessing they were going to do Spain for the next Forza Horizon. Uh, yonder's back. Mexico ain't too far off. Uh, and the last game they showed off was called Redfall, which is a game by Arcane, who I swear were making another game that got delayed already, called Deathloop. This looks like a four-player shoot the vampire thing, but since it was a CG trailer, I can't tell you a thing about how the game plays. Sure. Uh, the Microsoft conference, to sum it up, it was pretty good. Lots of gameplay, lots of things, not a lot of snooze time, usually, like, you know, and, and that's the thing, is that, like, you see, like, two minute trailers back to back, that's usually a good pace. You might, you know, focus on some set pieces. Oh, and they shot off Halo. I've missed, I've missed Halo. I didn't even write Halo in this. I did. I missed a couple, actually. Sorry, I missed uh, Somerville as well. So this is a castly, adventure looking game where things come down from the sky. I don't know if it's a Choices Matter kind of game. It probably is, but just that kind of stuff. Sure. We'll go that. And then, yeah, Halo Infinite. They showed off some Halo Infinite. Uh, I'm not too, like, familiarized with the Halo lore and f all that stuff. So all I can say is... Master Chief is, uh, you know, a cool guy, sure, and, uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, the multiplayer apparently is free to play, separate from the actual game, so you buy the single player, but the multiplayer is just something that, like, you don't have to own the game to play. I assume they're going to monetize the heck out of it, but, you know, I don't hate the idea. Don't hate the idea. Because it's kind of like, well, for the people who play both, there's no extra purchase. And for the people who play only the multiplayer, they technically save a buck, as long as the microtransaction model isn't, like, isn't too engrossing, or, or too, uh, you know, uh, overwhelming, we'll say. And I stood in the ant. <sighs> or, or, sorry, the slugs. Slugs. Um, so, yeah, so that was that. Uh, Halo is still a surprising game for me because I would have thought Halo would have died yonder's back. Like, that and Unreal Tournament, like, pioneered that idea of, like, multiplayer shooter just on different fronts. One's on PC, one's on consoles. Um, and, like, it still is, like, a lower player count. Well, I guess it's decently player count Halo servers now. But it's, like, it feels like this smaller scale deathmatch kind of game. And it just feels like something that, like, you think would have phased out for the, the large scale combined arms games that playing now. Or Call of Duty. Somehow Call of Duty gets gets away with being deathmatch still. So, I don't know. I, I, just, I just feel like uh, interests move on. But maybe they just fixate on just those two. Halo and Call of Duty. And no other game can be Deathmatch. Not even Doom, not even Quake. People just don't play it, like, for extended periods. I don't know. So, so yeah, point is Microsoft's conference was good. There's a lot of stuff in it. Uh, and I think that with Bethesda as well, they've got room to talk about a lot of franchises that may not necessarily have, you know, like, Bethesda legitimately did not have an hour to fill last time they tried doing it. Um, so... Uh, it was alright. Um, I forgot to mention Gearbox's one. They had, like, these terrible jokes in between, like, the segments. So not only was it, like, not that many games, it also was padding. It was very odd. Uh, so one last conference that we've got, and this is legitimate padding. Here we go. Uh, I... Ooh, am I gonna get killed? No, I'm good. Okay. Uh, so... 
Last one, we've got Square Enix. Now, here's the king of padding. So, first of all, uh, they got Matthew Mercer to just narrate what is happening between these sections. You please stop spawning more ants. Please stop spawning ants. I have one hit killed this ant. Sure. Um, and I got Matthew Mercer to introduce the other sequences. Um, Matthew Mercer, please have my babies. Uh, so, but it was pretty alright. I can't say too much about the games though. The first thing they showed off was Guardians of the Galaxy, where they showed off a trailer for the game. And then they showed off dev interviews for the game. And then they showed off an extended gameplay section of the game. And then, and various bits of this overlapped. Like, they showed the same things multiple times sometimes. Which... Got a little disconcerting, actually. It was kind of like, oh... Karma, guys. So... Uh... Sure, yeah. But... I... I had... So the first thing that was rather sad about the, the event, the, sorry, not the Avengers, the Guardians of the Galaxy game, is that this is done by the guys who make Deus Ex. And it saddens me that I really enjoyed Deus Ex. Out of the fewer modern AAA games that I actually do really enjoy, Human Revolution legit was a great experience. I hear Mankind Divided is more of the same, but more of the same in a good way, like it it leans more into doing more things, like, as, as a decent sequel does, like, you know, start from, start from the basics, speed, catch people up, and then push on, in, like, your mechanics, so sure. Uh, and then, uh, but, yeah, no, they, they have been delegated to working on, uh, the Avengers game, and now they're doing this, I assume they made these alongside each other, they made these at the same time. Uh, now, as a as a game, like a comic book tie-in game, it looks fine. I think if you enjoy the comic book, you'll probably find things to like here, but... You know, to me, I kind of go like, man, you know, I really wish that these guys made a much different game. Because this just does not look like what I necessarily want. And honestly, if it's like the other Avengers game, did you realize that's a looter shooter? How, how did it end up being a looter shooter? That just seems so bizarre to me, so... Uh, let's, let's just, let's just get him with the sleep. 69, A. Hey. Yeah, I didn't realize there were two ants there. You can't even see that there's a second ant. Uh, let's just get him with another strong attack before he, like, necessarily wrecks me. What's the point? Ah, <laughs> I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. You, <laughs> what do you do? What do you do? What do you do? This is... <sighs> I do too much damage, but like... Jeez. I've beaten that ant. I'm, I'm kicking that ant's ass. I'm upset. I'm mad. That ant. That ant is gonna pay. It doesn't even take that long, but I've got to like fight my way through the enemies. I'm gonna reach this weird point where I'm gonna be like breezing the enemies. Like I'm gonna be doing the the one hits, you know. At least this game's got that. Like at least you know when you're over leveled, and it still rewards you with the experience. So that's fine. Uh, I've still got. <laughs> I'm right on one hour fifty eight. So okay. So the other thing with the Guardians of the Galaxy thing, uh, it looks a little sloppy in places. Uh, the gameplay demo legitimately showed, and I know it's alpha. I know, I know it's pre-release, but it is coming out. In Four months. So it is coming out soonish. Uh they showed there was this one part before they really got into any fighting, because like legit a lot of that gameplay segment was just them talking and not shutting up. They were just keep talking. Watch Gamora as she's walking along. She turns her head to look towards the main character whenever the main character like whenever Star Lord is close-ish and never turns away until like until the Star Lord walks a bit further back, like she's climbing a, she's going down a, a hill. She's constantly looking back. She does not look forward at all. Like the whole thing, legit. Watch it again. She's just looking the wrong way the whole time. And then on top of that, her animation just like misses the ledge when she's climbing it. She just doesn't. 
there's a lot of just like weird details like that and it just seems like you know th this feels like a high you know publisher just text textbook game which just it saddens me because it's like it's, yeah. I don't know I don't know it just doesn't click with me it actually seems like ugh. Ugh. This is, this is a game that just doesn't like I don't feel the love in it. I feel I feel the product in it. Is that me being too cynical? That's the kind of stuff that I expected as well out of like everything in E3. I've been reasonably excited about like a lot of a lot of this other stuff and I'm glad I watched the indie showcase so far. Um because it's like, you know, that's that's legitimately like a humble maybe not humble. That's you know, earnest just people making games and they just want you to play the games and and be moderately, you know, financially uh, rewarded for doing so, but, you know, they just want to make cool games. Or games that they really want to make. Like, that's it. Sure. But this is, like, this is when we get to the other point where it's like, we're, we're, we're getting well beyond the cool games and into the games that uh, pe that high-budget studios, you know, went through all these algorithms and focus groups and figured out who wants what, so... I don't know. I'm a bit cynical on that one. Uh, that went for 18 minutes. Square Enix had 46 minutes and they spent 18 of them on this. Uh, they then went on to mention Final Fantasy Pixel Remaster, which is apparently a mobile and it's gonna be on Steam, but trust, trust playing that on Steam. Uh, remaster of Final Fantasy 1 through 6. Uh, life is better? Oh, exactly, yeah. <laughs> Am I gonna have to annihilate the ants? The slugs? Yeah, I am. At least you can annihilate them here, because you got the butterflies up above, but... <laughs> it keeps on going. So they, they showed they showed that off, it was very brief. Uh, they also teased a Legend of Mana game. Uh, as someone who hasn't played Legend of Mana, I don't know. Uh, I've played the first three Final Fantasies, so... All I can say is... Will it be better than the... Steam versions already, or well, I guess there's no Steam version of 1 and 2, but there's a Steam version of every single Final Fantasy game afterwards. Um, so, you know, I actually, I really hope that they don't take off Final Fantasy 5 and 6. I own them. They're running my Steam library, I'm getting around to them at some point. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. Um, then they showed off some Avengers DLC that including some things. There's a Black Panther DLC, I guess, that's coming out. It's a free upgrade, at least, but... I thought the player base really dropped off on that game, apparently. Um, so, which is rather unfortunate. I think it's, uh, people didn't realize what the game ended up being, and kind of unfortunate on that one. Uh, then they showed off Hitman, Sniper in the Shadows, a mobile game. They showed an ad. Then they showed off Near Reincarnation, a mobile game. Final Fantasy War of the Visions, a mobile game. Final Fantasy Brave Exvius, a mobile game. Final Fantasy VII The First Soldier, a uh, mobile game, but this is the this is the Battle Royale Final Fantasy game. No one asked for this, but it's hilarious, so we'll go with it. Uh, then there's a game called Babylon's Fall. This is by Platinum. So this is the game by Platinum I said I was going to rip into. Um, it looks, it, I don't know, it doesn't really pique me. It, it just kind of seems like it's a hack and slashy kind of game. It's four player, you go through dungeons, and it, it, it looks like it should have come out in 2011. It looks like it should have come out 10 years ago. Um, it just does not look strong at all. I don't know. Uh, then they showed off uh, Life is Strange Remaster, which I'm going to say arguably doesn't look as good. There goes my defense. I'm gonna annihilate him, there we go. Well, the ant didn't take much damage, but sure. I'm gonna use it one more time. I don't trust this guy. He's going in with the defense, though. Oh, now he takes the damage. Okay, now let's beat him up. Alright, now let's heal it. Oh, oh, I healed. Okay, so that's the trick. Is that if your health is rolling down, but you're still doing actions as that health is rolling down, like you'll see it's rolling up right now, it rolls down just as slow. If I can be quick enough like that, you can effectively save yourself from death. 
That's an amazing part about this game, and I love it. I love it for that. Um... Alright, come on, come on. So... Yeah, so the Life is Strange Remaster, I don't know, it doesn't really peek out to me. Um, at least it's got one and two, so at least it's a collection on that one. First try. Easy. First try. <laughs> um, and then, but then they also showed it off with Life is Strange True Colors. This is a pseudo spin-off where the main character has, and this is a different main character, has um, uh, the ability to read others' emotions rather than time travel. Um, can be interesting. Sure, we'll take it. Uh, so this is the first Your Sanctuary location. Plays a bit of music. Uh, the Life is Strange one looks okay, but, uh... I don't know, like, apart from the main character looking like a Tumblr, it doesn't really, like, scream out to me. I think people who enjoy the first one probably will find stuff to enjoy in this one, and I hope that there's good character writing in this one. Like, uh, like a good character study. Um... I don't know much about the first one, though. Um, but we'll go with it. Uh, and then, yeah, awkwardly you get to walk back through this cave as well. I don't know. So, there's one last game. I have <laughs> I have managed to talk about all these games, and I have not talked about the one game that I did play. And I do want to kind of mildly talk about it as well. Just leave my thoughts. People can then yell at me uh, for that one. Uh, is uh, Stranger of Paradise. This is a Team Ninja... Uh, game where you team ninja, you, it's, it's, see, oh, wait, no, this is the one, this is the one where it's like, where it's like the, the evil knight at the end is like, no, I am chaos, and everyone is memeing on how edgy that is, everyone's memeing on how edgy this whole thing is, uh, and on top of that, it's like, you've got a pink-haired main character, I love how you can come up to the enemies and beat them up, here's a chance for a surprise opening, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just give him a bash, bro, is it worth it? Probably not. Like, that other guy gave me a lot of experience, but sure, we'll take it. Sure, we'll, we'll, we'll take it there. Uh, yeah, no, Stranger, did you not get armor? I did get armor, didn't I? Yeah, I got the Mr. Baseball cap. I guess I don't have body armor. But we don't have that yet, do we? The bracelet? Oh, was I supposed to get a bracelet? Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> oh well. We'll find some stuff later. Maybe that's my bad. I'm making all this money and going, geez, sure don't have any armor. Whoops, that's my bad. Um, so that's every game. Uh, can you read it? No. What a rebellious kid. Okay. Alright, well, we'll go for the save on that one. So, point is, is that the Square Enix E3, it was, like, it was rather weak. The, like, Gearbox just didn't have anything that excited me. Square Enix had stuff that terrified me, like, ugh. I actually had stuff that just didn't seem finished and ready. So, I hope it's good. I hope they release good stuff. I actually realize I can just life up and then not have to use the inn. How oh, convenient. Good on him. Meanwhile, I've been paying 35 bucks every time I've gone to the inn. Jeez. How hotel, motel, holiday inn. So, Square Enix, you gotta, gotta, gotta pick up your game on that one. Uh. Yeah, let's record that and then call it. So, there's more conferences. Um, Bandai Namco. Nintendo, not Sony, not EA, uh, but there's bound to be some more stuff, so I'll talk about more of it next week. Um, and then, yeah, you can click in, and you turn the power off instead of just pressing reset, alright? And this is where they kind of get you, because the game actually should be ending, so. Uh, well, I'll say a bit of a mild rip, because I did want to kind of talk about the beginner's guide. Uh, I had played it after seeing it on the stream. But I think I'll save it for another time, um, because, yeah, I... <laughs> it's the end of the stream, I think, I think we're good there, so... Uh, in that case, thank you guys so very much for watching. Uh, I hope you had a good time watching this, uh, watching me absolutely struggle my way through the beginning of this game, like, jeez. I... 
this, uh, I'm doing this rather rough, but sure, we'll, we'll go for it. Um, but uh, no, I, I'm definitely enjoying the beginning of this game. I'm hoping that I'm, you know, progressing to some degree. Uh, but shouldn't be too bad. Uh, if you're watching this on Twitch, please leave a follow. Just so you know that I'm streaming every single time, every week. Uh, if you're on YouTube, subscribe's always good. Uh, I'll consider making a proper E3 video, but I did kind of run through every single game here, and I've given some thoughts, so we'll see. Um, I don't know. Might be on the table. We'll see. Uh, anyways, to everyone else, have a good week. Have a wonderful time. Don't stay up too late. And remember to uh, rug up if you're in down south and enjoy the sun while it lasts in the north. Have a good one.